So what's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial on Adobe Edge Animate 1.0. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to create your own shopping cart. I'm going to show you guys how to do this with PayPal. Right here I'm going to provide the link to you. If you have a PayPal account you can create your own PayPal button. But there is a way to do this where you're just going to select the link itself. So the first thing you do is select shopping cart. So this is going to be the name for my product. I'm going to charge $25.99. And over here we have two options, website and email. I'm going to select the email because I just need the actual link. So let me copy that. Let me place this into Notepad. Create myself a new file in Adobe Edge. So let me show you here what I was creating in Photoshop before I started the tutorial. I have a thumbnail and I have a zoom in option on the bottom left hand corner. Right here is a zoomed in image. Then you can click here or anywhere on the image to close it. I'm going to go File Import. Let me select the logo and the two images of the shirts. So I have my images here and I'm just going to select this logo and very quickly I'm going to take the text tool, type in shopping cart, select the text to white, let me increase the size. So this is just a very quick header that I'm putting up here on top just to let people know they're at the shopping cart. Okay, so now I'm ready to actually include a thumbnail, and this will be my first product. Again, we're going to take the text tool, and I'm going to create some text, and we're going to call this, call this monkey, t-shirt, hit enter, and it's going to be $25.99. I'm going to create myself one more text box here. So we made the text bold and we're going to make that a green. I'm going to select all of this, just place it underneath the thumbnail. So that looks pretty cool. Okay, so now let's get for the image itself. I'm going to right click on this, I'm going to convert to symbol, and let's close the thumbnail. Double click on the image, and right now it has its own timeline. And I'm going to start off by putting a label here, and we're going to call this thumb. So now what we want to do is we want to have the user select this zoom tool and actually be able to get a zoomed in image of this t-shirt. So I'm going to select this box over here and place it right over. Let's change the color to white. It could be any color. I'm just going to lower the opacity all the way down so the user doesn't even know it's there. Right click on this, and we're going to open actions. Select click, play, in quotations, large. On the timeline, we'll put a label, control L. What I want here is the large image. Now I'm going to take this stuff in the main timeline and move it over. But let me just start off with this image here. So I'm going to come back to the beginning of the timeline. I'm going to select this image and I'm going to turn it off. When it goes to the large, I'm going to select on. So the user will be over here, they'll click that part of the box where the zoom is, and they'll get the large image. Control T for a trigger, put stop, and that's large. So for the beginning we'll put another trigger, but this time we're going to put for thumb. That way when this plays, it's just going to stay on the thumb right here. I'm going to change the cursor for this, so when the person zooms in, it'll change to a pointer. Now I'm coming back over here to the large image. I want this to close, so you could just select the top right corner, but I want when someone clicks this image to close. So I'm going to right click on this, open actions, select click, play, and it's going to just play the thumb. That'll be the beginning of the timeline here. So we also changed the mouse for a pointer there, and let me press control enter. When the person clicks this, it's got the zoomed in image, and then you click anywhere and it closes. So that works. Now I also want this text so if someone can click this and buy it, and also if you can click the t-shirt and buy it too. I'm going to double click on this, open actions, select click, open URL, 
This is the link for PayPal. Very important over here is the underscore top, and I'll explain why in a minute. Next, let's come back over here to the stage. We're going to open actions for the text. Select click, open URL. Another open URL and underscore top again. But when somebody comes over here for the text, I also want the mouse changed. And let me also change the mouse here. It's very important because when somebody's using these buttons, you want that mouse pointed or changed so they can actually know they're clicking on something. So control enter to test this, zoom in, close that, click the t-shirt and we added it to the shopping cart. And an important thing for the underscore top before when I was mentioning that is that you can click on this, continue shopping, it'll return you to the shopping cart. So that's very important. Let me try it again with the buy button. And then again, I'll select continue shopping and it takes me back to the shopping cart. So that's a quick way to do this. I'm going to also change this just for a minute. I'm going to move this all to the left. And then we'll double click on this button here. And I'm just going to space this out evenly. Let me just press control enter. And that looks like a cleaner layout. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video where I introduced you to some features in Adobe Edge. You know, this is a really simple tutorial where you can create a shopping cart. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.